Okay, so again, I'm taking this from the CK12 book, and our goal here is to use the order of operations to evaluate the expression. And, and in the simplest terms, what they're telling you is, instead of writing all this stuff, can we simplify it? In other words, can we solve it? Um, so let's look at this one up here. It looks nasty, but really we can break it down. First, we look for the order of operations dealing with parentheses, or PEMDAS. So these parentheses tell me, oh, focus on these and these numbers and these numbers before you do anything else. If we look at our first set of parentheses, there's another set inside. And again, that tells me that let's solve these numbers before we deal with the entire set of parentheses. And what I'm going to do is rewrite this equation as I simplify it. All right, try to rewrite it almost completely. So notice there's a two and a dot here. That means multiply. But I can shorten that by just writing two and then the parentheses I'm dealing with. In algebra, or in any form of math, if you write a number next to a set of parentheses, that means to multiply. So what are we multiplying by? Well, it's 3 plus 2 minus 1, so 2 minus 1 comes first, so it's really just 3 plus 1. And then we're going to put that over, remember this fraction sign means to divide, 4 minus 6 plus 2. So 6 plus 2 comes first, and that's 8, so it's 4 minus 8 minus 3 minus 5, and 3 minus 5 comes first. Well, 3 minus 5 is just negative 2. So now we're almost done. I'm going to rewrite this, though, again, by evaluating these parentheses, which is 2 times 4, over, well, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, minus a negative 2. That's really just plus 2. And see, if, as I simplify this, it becomes easier to deal with. Now this is going to be 8 over negative 4 plus 2. 8 over negative 4 is division, and that comes before addition. So 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2, plus 2 is 0. So this is equal to 0. And up here, um, when we had 2 times 4 divided by negative 4, well, multiplying and dividing by 4 would equal 1. That's an inverse operation, right? Take 2, multiply it up 4 times, and then divide it into 4 groups. You're right back to where you started from with 2. So right from here, at this point, we could have canceled these two out and just wrote negative 1, because 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. We still would have had 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2 plus 2 is 0, but that might have been a nice shortcut. And the next one, there's a set of parentheses here, but, but there's just a number inside, so we don't really do anything. It just means to multiply 7 by 3. So in this, in this expression, I'm going to deal with this first part over here and multiply the 7 by the 3 before I add the 4. And over here, I'm going to multiply the 3 by the 2, and I might put a set of parentheses in there to remind myself of that before I subtract. So really, this becomes 4 plus 21 over 5 plus, right, to 9 minus 4, 12 minus 6 over 2. And what does that become? Well, it's 25 over 5 plus 6 over 2, which is equal to 5 plus 3, or 8. So this one equals 8. And the next one, the next one we have 4 minus 1 in parentheses, which we're going to solve before this exponent. And here we have 3 squared times 2, so we're going to square 3 before we multiply. If you remember the order of operations, exponents come before multiplication or division. So here, in this equation, it's going to be rewritten as 3 squared plus 9 times 2. All I did there was take 4 minus 1 and square the 3. Um, here, 3 squared is 9, plus 9 times 2 will come first before you re-add. That's 18. And altogether, that's 27. In the last one, here we have lots of parentheses, but we can still deal with it. These parentheses will come first, and so will these. And I'll rewrite this. So now I have, well, 2 squared is 4, plus 5 is 9. So 9 squared, and then over here, divided by 3. But I, I wrote 3 and then over 1. I just, I don't know why I wrote that, sorry. Um, here, 5 squared is 25, minus 4 squared is 16. What does this become? Well, 9 squared is 9 times 9, that's 81. Over 25 minus 16, which is just 9 divided by 3. So what's that going to become? Well, 81 divided by 9 is 9 divided by 3. 
9 divided by 3 is 3. And that's our answer. All right, hope that helped.